Sometimes when we look at a diamond through an ideal scope or we have an ideal scope photograph, it appears that there's too much backlight or there's too much leakage. So what I'm going to show you is how we can tell the difference between too much backlight and too much leakage. So if we look at this pale area in the center of the diamond, um, this is a well-cut diamond at Helkowski proportions, we call that central region the table reflection because the light that goes in there is going in through the table. So as I whiz across to the other side, you can see that when we get to that junction, that point, the light then starts to come in through the crown facets. So um, this area is showing about 68% or a little bit more um, light return of the 83% that actually went into the diamond because some always gets reflected. You never get 100% light return. So you can see that there's bits of pieces of light leaving the back of the diamond too because again there's always going to be some extra internal reflections. If we whiz across to this point here which is one of the areas that often shows up as being a little bit pale and leaky you can see that it's the same color as the central section so right so we can actually see that we've got pretty good light return there 22 percent and 42 percent so 64 percent plus this other four percent over here so we're losing about 11 percent out the back and that's that's pretty good um, almost as good as it gets ever so what I'm now going to show you is that I'm going to increase the backlight in this Diamond Calc software. So I'm going to run that up to 2.4 from 0.8, which means that we're three times as much light. And I click apply. And that's what you'll often see. So see that this pale area here and this pale area here are exactly the same. So it hasn't changed any light leakage or light return. It just means that there's too much light coming in the back of the diamond. So if this equals that, you don't have a problem. Okay, I hope that will help you.